Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd ahabata fillah It's important that we always Nuhasib and fusina That we always judge ourselves And look to where we are In our religion And with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala عن أنس رضي الله تعالى عنه أنا أعرابيا قال لي رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم متى الساعة؟ قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ما أعددت لها؟ قال حب الله ورسوله قال أنت مع من أحببت؟ متفق عليه. This is a hadith in Bukhari and Muslim. And in another riwayah or another narration of the same hadith, مَا عَدَّدْتُ لَهَا مِنْ كَثِيرٍ صَوْمٍ وَلَا صَلَاةٍ وَلَا صَدَقَةٍ وَلَكِنِّي أُحُبُّ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولُهُ In the hadith of Anas رضي الله تعالى عنه, he said that a Bedouin man came to the Prophet Sallallahu and asked when is the hour? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said and what have you prepared for it? He said love for Allah and His Messenger. He said you are with those whom you love. And this is in Bukhari and Muslim. In another narration he said the Bedouin said, I have prepared for it, or I have not prepared for it, a lot of fasting, nor prayer, nor charity. However, I have prepared love for Allah and His Messenger. From this hadith, it shows the thick and understanding of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that he emphasized, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the importance of being prepared for the hereafter. Not that it was so important about the hour, which was something he did not, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, know the exact time for. But rather, he said, the more important thing is knowing what have you prepared for it. So from the thick and wisdom of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is that the mu'min, is that what we understand from this hadith is that the mu'min is busy preparing his or herself for the hereafter. Not concerning themselves with trivial matters and coming with questions which are strange and gharib that have no beneficial consequence or no beneficial result from knowing that knowledge, but rather Strive your utmost to do those things which benefit you. In another hadith, the hadith of Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu, قال جاء رجل إلى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فقال يا رسول الله كيف تكو في رجل أحب قوم ولم يلحق بهم فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم المرء مع من أحب وتفق عليه ابن مسعود رضي الله تعالى عنه said that a man came to the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم and he said O messenger of Allah what do you say about the man who loves the people and is not related to them or does not associate with them, is not associated with them. The Prophet وسلم, the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, a person is with those whom he loves. This is in Bukhari and Muslim. What we learn from this hadith, as we learn from the prior hadith, is in the importance of focusing on those things which are important, the hereafter. Likewise, we learn that you are with those whom you love, meaning that if you love those people who harm Islam, 
those people who bring no benefit, those people who bring you no benefit in your deen, then you will ultimately gain no benefit from them. And perhaps if you love them with uh, extreme love, perhaps you'll be resurrected with them. So it's very important to be around good companions and to visit Ahl Khair and to be and love those people who will bring you closer to Allah and help you to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of Ahl Khair wa Sunnah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.